Hello and welcome. My name is Tyrion Lannister. All right, so I want to talk a little more about this whole main hand stuff. Now that I've got a little more variety, I think that I have some new insights on it. And also, I've just learned a few things about it. So the first thing that I'll say is that I'm of the belief that the most important thing you can get are these weapon reforge ores. Um, basically, the only place I'm aware of that you can actually acquire them is in the Fiery Crystal Mines um, compensation shop. They're really cheap, just 500 for each. I basically buy it the second this bi-monthly refresh happens. Um, so in eight more days, I'll be buying 20 more of them. Um, they are huge because they allow you to re-roll your, your, your like, uh, kind of extra skill thing, if that makes sense. Um, sorry, let me go here. So they allow you to do the random attributes. You can re-roll them. Now, for one like the Oath, um, it costs 40 to re-roll, so it's, it's hard to. But for a gold one, it costs just uh, 10. For the purple ones, it costs 4. For the blue ones, it costs 2. Um, and then green ones, it obviously is just 1. So, uh, look, what is interesting to me is that it's not a system where spending it automatically improves it. It's a system where it just literally gives you a random new one. And especially what's interesting is for one like Oath, it, you know, maybe it gives you three, maybe it gives you four, maybe it gives you two. Like on this one, I've got all four. On this one, I've got three. And it's not like those three are higher up on the bar. They're all green. This one, I've got you know, a couple green, and then I've got a blue. It is it is completely random. Um, you know, I look at this one. I've got all greens. This one, got green, green, and a purple. Like, it's, it's just, there's no rationale to it. I do understand that this gray bar represents the max you can get. So, um, if you do have something that's maxed, it'll say, like, max. Um, so, for example, I love this one because I've got total health totally maxed on it. Now, what is going to be really interesting is that there's a way to lock things. As you can see here, it says consume 10 locking ores to lock this attribute. Once it's locked, it will not be randomized when reforging. The attribute can be unlocked, but no locking ores will be returned. So I currently own zero, and I don't know where to get them, but this is going to be huge. Once you get that, you basically take a random attribute and make it a base attribute because it can't move anymore. It's not going to change when you reforge it. Um, and so once you get a gold one, I can see people, they lock it in, they roll, roll, roll until they get another gold. They lock it, they roll, roll, roll. Like that's that's how that's going to work. Um, and I'm really intrigued by that. I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense. But I'm assuming the locking ores are going to be hard to get. Um, also, just note that the locking ores do, you know, they cost more when it's one that, has more slots and is you know more expensive. It it correlates directly to how much it costs to reforge it. Um, these are the reforging ores and these are the locking ores. To be clear, okay. Um, so if you go to the weapon shop, this is another place that you can buy the weapon reforge ores. I don't know that I think this is worth it yet. Like fifty of them would basically mean like. I'm selling these green ones. They're worth 10, so if I sell five of them, that is technically worth, um, that's worth one uh, of these reforges. So, you know, I don't know that I think it's quite worth it yet. I'll, I will say that I've got a ton of these green ones now. So, you know, I can I can see it getting there. I mean, I can... I kind of see myself just starting to just roll through these because I don't need any of the greens, and maybe it is going to be worth it to have that. I sort of almost think it's more worth it to just get the... Well, no, it's, it's better to get these. You, you want to get the weapon reforge ores. So I think that I'll probably start doing this very soon just because I want more reforge ores so I can keep rolling it because I think rolling it's going to be the key. But I will recommend to everyone, I think, I think it might be worth saving up save up these um you know the the weapon reforge ores so that once you get something locked you can spam it and you're going to keep the good ones 
and just roll through it. Again, I don't know when we're going to get those locking ores released, but once we do, I think it's going to make a mad dash for who can get a complete gold, 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 gold on Oath or on these other gold, uh, you know, legendary scrolls and axes and all the rest. Because um, it's going to make a big difference, I think. Um, just like looking at this, I mean, so let's see. So uh, here, I'll go to this one. This is the max one. So max ta total health was 6% versus um here this is total defense is only one and a half so it's literally four times greater when you get it fully maxed i mean that's that's a big difference in stats to get it fully maxed and just thinking about that if you extrapolate it across five different commanders six percent total health let's say that's what i'm getting here six percent total health across five commanders that's 30% total health. Like, that's a lot. Versus if I get just five of them getting 1.5%, that's giving me then 7.5%. So 7.5% versus 30. It's a big difference. Like, if you can get five maxed, um, that's going to be big. So I'm, I'm, my recommendation to everyone is don't go crazy on it yet. Save up these reforge ores. Once we get the locking ones in, it's going to make a whole new game. But I'm really excited about this stuff. Like I said, it really has a lot of effect on on your setups and what you're going to choose to do. Um, it, it, it's a lot of stats that you're getting out of this stuff. I mean, if you look at these, the base ones, 20% cav attack. If I have that across five commanders, 100% cavalry attack. That's a lot. So definitely an interesting and exciting addition. I love this stuff. I'm really excited about it. Excited to see it develop. Really thrilled um, and excited to find out more about the locking ore once we get them. But um, definitely going to be good. I'm also intrigued to see if they do more of these like oath, like ancient ones. Um, right now, you're only allowed to equip it with one. That's why my other one isn't equipped. I can't give it to anyone. I will probably eventually give it to Chris. Um, obviously, it has the bonus with him, but I just don't really use Chris that often because I'm not an infantry castle. But at some point, I'll probably give it to him. But I'm really excited. I hope they release kind of other ones for other commanders. My assumption is that uh, you're still only going to be allowed to do one of each just because, like, you don't want to do all ancients. And I think that's probably a good move overall. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I love this stuff. I'm excited to hear if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. Love to hear from you guys. And uh, definitely excited about this um, and prospects of, of new things to come. But until next time, my name is Cherian Lannister. I'll see you then.